Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. In today's video, we're going to take a look at who is falling for you in the fall. Um, I'm pretty excited about this reading. I think that there's going to be a lot revealed. Um, I do have the piles as well as they're extended just in case you wanted to tap in, um, even kind of doing a cross reference here. So what else do I need to say? I think many of you know I have three new fall offerings, so you can view those at www.readingswithrally.com. You can also go ahead and make your booking there if, of course, you're interested. So today we do have three piles to choose from. Da -da -da. First pile here is the rose quartz. Second pile we have the seashell. And the third pile is the oxyhedron. Okay, remember that what we're looking at is um, the energy of who is falling for you in the fall. I'm going to go ahead and put the extendeds away for later and start with pile number one. I hope everyone is doing well. You guys are keeping healthy and happy and secure. Okay, let me try to get these guys in the middle there. Okay. So hello, pile number one. If you chose this rose quartz, then this is your reading on who is falling for you this fall. Don't you just love the catchy headline? So um, let me go ahead first. You know how I like to do this. I'm going to go ahead and tap into your energy first and foremost, okay? So spirit, can you please connect me to the energy of the collective that chose pile number one? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for Pal 1 so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your kindness, and for your accuracy. Thank you for everything that you do for us, and thank you for keeping Pile 1 safe. Okay, someone here has an O name, okay? Uh, Olivia, um, I don't even know what an O name could be, Ophelia. Uh, yeah, there's definitely a prominent O, first or last. I do feel here like um, this pile has been preparing themselves for true union for quite some time. I'm getting a lot of self-work here. So you guys have been putting in the effort. Someone here is doing like bar or Pilates, something to do with you sculpting your body, but it also is functioning as a spiritual way for you. Um, and someone here is also very much focusing on learning how to cook a different cuisine. Specifically, I'm hearing French and Japanese, and you're just really expanding each and every day and spirit is encouraging you to continue that. Hey, sorry, not you guys, Mojo. Mojo, what are you doing? That's my foot. Stop eating it. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of self, uh, self preservation here, self learning. Um, beautiful energy. I'm going to start off here with the tarot. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Chariot, we have the Moon, and we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, this is interesting. This person um, who's falling for you this fall could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Cancer energy heavy here. So you guys could be a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or this person could be a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This person could also be um, a foreigner, so different to you. Um, but there is also just a very unique element coming through with this individual. They're special. They are kind of like a one of a kind type of person. This person has a lot to offer. They're very special is what spirit keeps saying. I feel like this person and you have a very strong connection. You could meet this person as well when you're traveling. This person is unlike anyone that you've ever really met before. I feel like they have a very, very um, interesting energy. You can't quite put your finger on them, so they are quite mysterious. This person likes to explore. They're very much a person of the world. They could like to travel quite a bit as well. Spirit's just calling this person sexy, okay? So I feel for many of you, you will find this person very, very sexy, but there's definitely an intuitive bond coming through right away. We have the clown and we have the maiden. So this person could uh, really make you laugh. I do feel like this feels like a new person, okay? I, I'm not getting, you know, like even if you know this person, I don't really think you know them very well is what it feels like. The two of you will really have a lot to uncover together. There's a strong emphasis on um, nurturing this connection. This person will really try to make you laugh, but I do feel like they have more emotions than what they're showing. So I think this person and you will have a very, very good sex life here too. I'm getting a lot of passion, especially with that maiden card. This person thinks that you're wonderful. They also think you're very attractive regardless of what gender you are. 
there's a freshness here. This person um, is a bit of a romantic too at heart. I feel like they're quite romantic. We have whale, great worry over nothing. Okay, so this person could really help you um, maintain some sort of level of calmness here. Okay, they could be really working to help you feel at ease. This person I think is quite intuitive. They seem to be able to read your energy pretty well. And because of that, I do feel like you and this person will have lots to talk about. Um, there's definitely a strong sense of learning a lot about this individual, wanting to know more about this person. The two of you really do see eye to eye in a lot of different ways, but this person has a very calming presence. And again, water energy coming through. Needle and thread, a sincere wish is granted. So that's awesome. I feel like this is kind of somebody that you've been trying to manifest for quite some time. This person really does like you. I feel their um, intentions towards you are gen genuine, you know, especially if you've been concerned that maybe, you know, there wasn't a genuine sense of affection here. I do feel like this person actually is very um, honest with you about what they want. Hold on here. Mojo, get out of there. Stop. Sorry, he's just crawling around on my feet. Dog, protection from a powerful friend. This person could have a dog. I mean, I did just stop to uh, correct Mojo here. So this person could have a puppy um, or they could just be really interested in animals. This person does have a gentle spirit. We have a lot of animals here, right? We have cat, we have dog, we have whale, we have uh, horses. So I feel like this person um, has an affinity for animals here for sure. They're very loyal is another thing Spirit is wanting me to emphasize here, especially for those of you who have been struggling maybe with loyalty in a connection. We have child wounded, light attribute, awakens compassion and desire to serve other wounded children, opens the learning path of forgiveness, shadow attribute, blames all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds, resists moving on through forgiveness. So here's the thing. I feel like you and this person have a lot of mirrored experiences. So for example, if you've been really feeling um, stuck or frustrated with an aspect in regards to your life, I feel like this person is very much the same. So the two of you definitely do mirror each other to some aspect. I feel like this person is going to work hard to make your inner child feel safe. Again, I'm getting a lot of um, a lot of passion here and a lot of sexual exploration or creative exploration. This person could be an artist. I feel this person has a very strong um, ancestry, like they have very strong ancestors or a very strong lineage. This person could be a warrior um, or have some sort of a major uh, like move in his in their lineage, like something pretty intense. I don't necessarily feel this person's that close to their parents though. Uh, they could have a parent that is absent or um, dead. But this person will really be able to make you feel safe. And I think that that's something you guys have been really craving. We also have student. Light attribute, humility and devotion to knowledge, openness to lifelong learning. Shadow attribute, arrogance in pursuit of destructive knowledge, unwillingness to trade knowledge into action. This person could be sort of an eternal student. They love to learn. I do feel like this person's incredibly intelligent. Um, they're very curious. This is someone who's curious about the world. They want to know everything about everyone. They have their hands in many pots. Um, I feel like this is someone who would comfortably want to travel the world with you. They just feel very interested in uh, exploring. I really like this person's energy. If I'm being honest, I kind of feel like they're very... Um, they're very interesting and they're very interested in you too. So I think this person's really going to make you feel nice and safe. You have debilitated discomfort. You might be uncomfortable with this person at first though, you know, or this person could be a bit awkward, a bit of a geek. You have Sagittarius expand and we have North Node future. Okay. This person could be a Sagittarius sun, moon or rising or have heavy Sag placements. For me, Sag is always my card here of like a, um, a foreigner, right? So I, again, I think this person comes from a different culture than you, or they're just incredibly well-traveled, or they've done some sort of major move in their life. This person is looking towards the future. So they're a person who's looking to grow. They're looking to nurture. This person is definitely someone who has been putting a lot of thought, you know, into what, what they want going forward. And with that Knight of Pentacles too, they've been putting work into um, trying to figure out, okay, how do I move from this step to that step? Like they're very curious and they want movement here. We have closing door with completion. This person uh, could have ended a major cycle recently. You know, you guys could also have ended a major cycle. There's definitely shifting here. I do feel like this person as well could really end up closing this chapter of, you know, singlehood for you guys. 
or even help you kind of heal part of yourself. For some of you, um, this could be the person that you're losing your virginity to. I don't know why that just came through, but you know, I had to say it. We have heart home with compassion. This person does have cancer energy though. I really do feel that because I feel they're gonna want to make you feel so safe with them, so loved, so cared for. Like this is just a nurturer through and through. They wanna nurture this connection and they wanna nurture you here as well. We have lost compass, getting back to integrity. This person has a lot that they, um, you know, have been through. And I feel like they will share this with you over time. But this person also has a very strong desire to, to grow and to be healthy and to um, get their life back on track. So this is definitely someone who's driven. They are looking towards the future. And I feel like they have faced a lot in the past, but they're more interested in continuing to charge forward than anything else. So this person, um, I do feel like uh, brown hair, sandy brown hair. I feel this person is tall. Um, I also feel they have knobbly fingers. They could, again, have artist hands. So they could have like paint on them or something. This person is very good with their hands. A B name could be important here. Brayden, Brad, Bob. Another thing about this person too, is I feel they could be vegetarian, okay? Like they, they have a very soft spot here for animals or this person could have could own a lot of animals now or could have owned a lot of animals. Um, they might be also interested in zoo, zookeeping um, or somehow like veterinary care or even um, something to do with the water like marine biology. Wow, I like this person's energy a lot, you guys. I think this is a really good, cool connection. So yes, by the way, that is what I have for you. I really like this person. Um, you saw the extended in the beginning. So, you know, the timestamps for that pile will be down um, in the description box. I do have to say that I feel like this person and you have a lot in common. There's definitely an energy of um, growth with this individual. I really like this, this person's energy. I really do. I think they're very, very interesting. So I hope you have a great day. I will talk to you later, my friends. Goodbye. Okay. Let me have some water here, actually. <laughs> okay. Hello, hello, pile number two. If you chose this uh, seashell, then this is your reading. Um, welcome. So as you know, I always like to start off by tapping into your energy. So let me just go ahead here and tap into who is falling for you in fall. Spirit, can you please connect me to the energy here of the collective that chose pile number two? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile two, specifically related to um, their reading here and who's going to fall for them this fall. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for supporting pile two and guiding them. Uh, we appreciate you and we love you so, so much. We just have so much love and care for you. Thank you for everything that you've done for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, um, so someone's name here could start with an S. Um, I was immediately hearing Sarah, Sammy, Samuel, um, Samantha, uh, Sarai, Sarin. Uh, I also was getting like a very, um, some of you could be working with goddesses, okay? Specifically, I was getting very gentle, like, well, not gentle, no, none, no goddesses are gentle. They both have, they have lots of sides to them, but I was getting Aphrodite energy coming through right away. Um, someone here is wearing pearls or they could be considering buying a particular pair of pearls. Very uh, defined, classy, and elegant vibration to this group. So you guys might have really been working on cultivating an image for yourself is what's also coming through. Okay, let's take a look here. I'm going to go ahead and start with the tarot, which is at the bottom here. Tell me about this person's spirit. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the king of swords oh my god and we have the two of swords okay pile number two you could have two people falling for you this fall okay you or these people there's a lot of air energy here okay so we have gemini libra aquarius there is a shit ton of thinking of talking of communication that you guys are going to be waiting through um in the fall i feel here like especially with the, the eight of swords and the two of swords there's confusion here as well there's almost a sense of like not really understanding what to do or not really knowing what you want to do in regards to this this individual or the situation i feel busyness though too so you might actually end up dating both of these people 
and they could both end up falling for you. One of them seems older than you, and one of them is around your age or possibly younger, but they both carry heavy air energy. So Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I feel like you guys are kind of ready to step out, but there's also a fear here that comes uh, with that. I'm seeing all of the like uh, crows, I believe they're crows, or they could be ravens, excuse me, I'm not really good with birds, but there's a lot of intrusive thoughts going on here as well around this person, um, or you know, vice versa. There's a lot of like confusion in terms of, okay, well, what do I need to do now? There's definitely a sense of spinning your, your tail. We have agape. And we have the cave. I feel like these individuals are coming into your life right now to help usher you out of this period here of quietness that you've been going through. There's definitely a sensation here of needing to move into a clear direction. I feel your team is guiding you outside of this uh, time of solitude and into, you know, kind of the light where you have options here. But I feel your own um, fears here could be muddling this connection or these connections, I should say. So I want you to be really cognizant of like, okay, I'm spending too much time now by myself. I should probably go out and interact with other people because there is this energy of you kind of being a bit closed off, um, even though you might be doing the motions, you know, of going out to date. You need to admit to yourself, like, look, I'm not ready for this or I am. There's no shame either way. But I do feel like you you have got the attention here of multiple people. We have wealth. We have finger warning you for a problem either now or in the near future, and we have not unsuccessful plans. Okay, so someone here could have money. Okay, I I feel like one of these people has a little bit more uh, financial stability, let's just say, than the other person. I feel like the finger card is really asking you to learn about, um, you know, really going through and picking what kind of an energy or what kind of a vibration you want to be putting out there specifically to those people that you know you are considering dating because there's definitely a vibration here of being a little bit like closed off and i also want you to really pay close attention here to red flags because i feel like there's going to be something here that catches your eye that makes you go like you know what no i don't think i'm interested in this so just be very honest with yourself We have child eternal light attributes, determination to remain young in body, mind, and spirit, ability to see things with fresh eyes, shadow attributes, inability to grow up and be responsible, extreme dependency on others for physical security. Okay, so like I said, one of these people has wealth. The other person's quite immature. They could actually struggle quite a lot with finances. Um, I feel like this person is kind of like a blase person, you know, like they're just like, well, whatever, I, I'll uh, get that money later. Like they just feel very insecure in terms of finances. And this, I think, is going to be a major red flag for you. So just keep your eyes open for, you know, who's treating you well and who's kind of ignoring giving you any sort of financial um, indicators. We also have Midas and Miser, entrepreneurial or creative ability to turn anything into gold. Someone here is very wealthy. Delight in sharing life's riches. Hoarding money and emotions, obsessive fear of losing your wealth is this, this shadow attribute. So the person here who has money has worked very hard to get to where they are, okay? Um, and I feel like this person, you might consider them a little cold or reserved, especially in communicating about how they got their money. But I feel this person has been through it, like through quite a lot here in order to gain what they gained. Um, so they might be quite stingy, not stingy. I don't think that that's actually true. I feel like this person is a frugal person, okay? So it's interesting here because the one person here might pretend like they have more money. They might be more like uh, more willing to share with you, blah, blah, blah. But that person actually doesn't have money. Like they could still like live at home or just have massive debts, something like this. The person who's a little bit more reserved, I feel here out of these two characters is the one with more wealth. We have Midheaven Pinnacle. Fifth house here with passion. Pluto with rebirth. Wow, I pulled four for this. I didn't even realize. An eighth house with mystery. Okay, so you have choices here, okay? Because I really do feel one of these people is older and they are pursuing their passion. They're making quite a bit of money. The other person you guys could have more of a sexual connection with. This person is very, very um, good in bed. But again, they lack a lot of the things that I think you really do want to see in a partner. So Spirit's just asking you to choose carefully. But also, there's lots of emphasis in the fall around your sex life. So 
if that's an area that you've been like, I wonder when that's gonna pick back up. I really do see that shifting quite rapidly for you. We have sky riding the fates. It's interesting too, because you could be meant to meet both of these individuals. And so spirit's really offering you a chance here to um, feel, fulfill a contract or to really explore something that maybe you weren't thinking you would get to explore. We have whale song with resonating and we have jeweled web connectivity. Okay. I think on a spiritual level, you know, one of these people does seem to resonate with your spirit more than the other person. I also feel here like you could be, um, one person here could be like a bit artistic or a musician or charm you somehow with their words. But all of it is kind of working concurrently um, to help you kind of get out of this funky part of your life. So be open to dating, even if it feels scary and even if you feel like you're not gonna meet the right person for you, but tread carefully here as well because I do get some sort of deception energy. And I find often when we have a lot of air, um, it can be confusing because air can muddle things very quickly or there's just a sense of like not really knowing what choice to make or what direction to invest in. But there's a lot of like um, spiritual shifting here as well for you in the fall. And it's almost like these people are being spent to you, are being spent to you, are being sent to you from spirit as a way to help encourage that inner healing. So yes, pile two, very interesting. That was a, that was a very interesting reading. Um, that is what I have for you, my friends. Um, what was I gonna say here? You saw the extended, so of course, if that pile looked like it resonated with you, um, you can go ahead and get that. I don't know. I feel like a lot of this fall is going to be about you learning and shifting, and I don't necessarily see that as a bad thing. I know lots of people do see that as a bad thing, but I feel like there's a lot that you are needing to work through, um, and this person, these people, I guess I should say, will help you. See you later, pile number two. Okay. Okay. Hello, hello, pile number three. If you chose this oxyhedron, then this is your reading. Welcome. As you know, I like to start off the, the reading by tapping into your energy. So just give me a second here. Spirit, can you please connect me to the energy here of pile number uh, three? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile number three um, so that they can have the best possible reading, specifically related to, of course, who's coming towards them in the fall. We just wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your kindness, and for your accuracy. Honestly, it means so much to us to have you by our sides. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, pile three. Someone's name here could start with a P, Penelope, uh, Peter. What's interesting here is I heard Petra, so somebody here could be traveling to Petra. Um, or from Petra or this person you're asking about this new person coming in or this person who's falling for you could be from Petra uh, there's a very ancient sense here somebody here is also really struggling with their eating habits right now either they are um, eating too much or too little you'll know if that resonates your team's really encouraging you to go and seek assistance but a lot of it is to do with your emotional state so you guys could qualify as emotional eaters um, and someone here is drinking a Coke or a Coca-Cola. I'm feeling the fuzzy bubbles in my mouth. Okay, so we're gonna start off at the bottom with the tarot. So who is falling for them this fall? We have the Hanged Man, Four of Wands. Wow, the tower, holy shit. Excuse my French, Injustice. Wow, oh my gosh. Okay, so um, energy here. Do, do, do we have, um, we have Libra. We have Pisces and we have Mars and Scorpio. And of course, Libra, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising could be prominent here within you or within this person. Okay, this person is going to completely shock you or take you off of your feet. I feel like this is a past life connection, especially with these three, four of wands, the tower and justice, like holy smokes. This could be somebody that you have a very intense past life with. They're coming back in to be able to connect with you again. I feel like this person is going to surprise you. I feel like they are probably a bit older than you. They have a very old soul, very cultured person as well. This person could be interested in reading, poetry, um, like museums. They just feel very intelligent. 
I feel like both you or this person, nobody really knows like why you feel so strongly for them or vice versa, but they just know that they are feeling very drawn to you, very attracted to you. This person feels like you are the bee's knees. I feel like there's an element of fate as well to this person making it known that they're interested in you. They feel like they kind of sweep you off of your feet or surprise you. This person has a lot that they um, want to share with you. But I feel like you guys will almost recognize them from a soul perspective. We have the underworld. Holy smokes. This person, okay. And what else? The destroyer. Okay. You guys, this person has been through a, a, a lot. I feel like you, for some of you, you know, you could actually know this person. This could, might not be a new person. This could be somebody from the past trying to resurface where the two of you have been through a lot. This person has faced shadow aspects of themselves. They faced the, the toughest parts of themselves. They have seen a lot of their true self and their true nature. And because of that, this person has reached some sort of a level of enlightenment. For some of you, this person could have struggled deeply with addiction. Um, they could have a, a been abused, that there's a trigger warning for that. Um, I also feel for some of you, this person like they've been incarcerated is another thing I'm hearing. They've just been really through it. This person has had a difficult upbringing, but because of that, they walk with so much wisdom. I feel like you and this person have had a volatile past life together too. I think you're gonna intuitively be picking up on this. Like you might be like, I know that something's off here. Like I know that me and this person had a, a difficult life. I think it's just going to feel um, like you're picking it up, you know, like you're going to know that something here happened between you and them intuitively. We have career, we have happiness, and we have January. Okay, so this person could be born in January or you could be born in January. There could be something significant happening in January for this connection like an event. I feel like this person has been putting a lot of time, energy, and effort into their career, but they are also starting to realize that they're neglecting their own happiness. This person is going to be desiring happiness with you. This person wants to be happy. This is somebody who will work really, really hard to get ahead. And this is someone who's not scared of hard work. They will put the hard work into this connection with you. Um, and I also feel like you and, you and this person could have a similar career path or you may end up working together. For some reason, I'm seeing like a law firm. So I don't know, you guys could end up like working together in a law firm or there's just a sense here of fairness of justice. You have similar values in terms of how you see the world. What else for spirit? We have prostitute like attributes, accentuates the challenge of survival without negotiating the part power of your spirit shadow attribute places material considerations and security above self-empowerment okay so for some of you here and again i'm going to put a trigger warning on this pile um this person could have had a history here of abuse perhaps they felt like they had to use their body this person's also very seductive here too they know that they're attractive um and they do their they use sex as transformative so again we could have heavy um scorpio placements here including now picking up venus and mars I just kind of feel like this person has been through a lot of a lot in their life but they are someone who's very um talented physically but they might also feel like they are often used for that aspect you also have liberator freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs releasing negative thought patterns shadow attribute imposing your own tyranny over those you claim to liberate ignoring legitimate constraints this person cares a lot about other people. They care a lot about society. This person could be like a nonprofit uh, worker or they could work um, pro bono for like uh, legal cases. They feel like they really care about helping others. This is definitely a very evolved person. They don't like injustice. This person hates injustice. Um, and if they feel like something is, un is unjust, they will get very, very angry or upset. dignified strength yeah this is an incredible person i feel like when you hear this person you're going to just fall in love with this person all over again i i honestly think that this person is like very unique they have a one-of-a-kind energy they've worked really hard to get to where they are and they are also aware of what it takes here this person could be like path four as well or you guys could be 10th house authority capricorn energy 
and we have Mars with motion. So this person could be older than you. I feel like they're more established than you or somehow in their career, like they seem to have people knowing who they are. It's that kind of energy coming through. But more than anything, I feel like this person wants movement with you. They are desiring um, movement. They want you to be with them. Uh, they feel like, again, there's that strong sex drive here too. This person is very protective. I'm feeling a very protective warrior type of energy here. They do, they, uh, they're not above a scuffle, let's just say, regardless of, you know, if this person wears a suit every day to work, it doesn't matter. They will protect ve vehemently what it is that they love. Vows is what I'm hearing. So again, you could marry this person or, you know, this person and you could have been married in a past life and made some sort of a, in a very intense um, vow here together. This person is very sexy too. I have to say, you guys are going to be very turned on by this person. Okay, what else do we have about this individual? We have lost in space, needing direction. A tidy house, clarity and organization. And spirit of the river, movement towards adventure. This person, I feel, has been waiting to meet somebody like you. And it's like when they finally get a chance to meet you, it's like their world is turned upside down. They just love you so much from the minute they lay eyes on you. This person um, is very meticulous and organized. They could have some OCD tendencies. Perhaps they've been in the military. Again, this could be you, but I feel like this person wants you to feel safe with them. They want you to feel at home with them. That's very, very important to this individual. So yeah, this person I think is really going to um, help you feel very uh, secure. They want you to feel safe. This person will really encourage growth here within this connection. I like this person's energy quite a lot. This is a very um, this is a very complex person though. So I do feel you guys will be a little bit like overwhelmed by this person at times, especially with what they've been through. It's gonna be like, you guys almost won't even know what to say once this person starts to tell you about their, their story. Or again, remember roles can be reversed, so that could be you. So yes, pile three, that is what I have for you. Um, I hope that you're doing well. I'm sending you a big, 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 big hug. Um, of course, if you wanted that extended, you can find information about how to get that in the description box. I'll talk to you later.